So the first of three uh, work today is Yupi. He's just arrived. He's uh, owned by a really sweet lady. We got a really, uh, yeah, a really nice, genuine email that she's having some problems with the trailer loading. Um, and sometimes he seems from the story that he's okay going in. And then sometimes when you close behind or he feels the bar behind, then he's really freaking out. And um, I think she'd had quite a few uh, yeah, traumatic experiences. So he's here now for a little while to uh, learn that process. So, but with all the horses, of course, um, they all come with a story and I try not to let myself be filtered by the story too much and that we really find out where their weaknesses are and why what is maybe causing the problem what information they don't know that causes the reaction or the symptoms so as i said we take now up through the groundwork and uh, feel how he is in the body, what he's good at, what he's not good at, what he understands and what he doesn't understand and that he starts to explain his story to us a little bit through the groundwork. So thinking about trying to give him all the information before the exam, if the exam is being able to go into the trailer and be relaxed and have an understanding about how to load and how to be comfortable and stable in the trailer and he has to learn the meaning of a destination, what it is to travel, what that meaning is. A hey, young man. So a really sweet face. And let's see how he gets on. <clears throat> so the process is that he understands through using the tools, it's not about him getting used to a flag because that's not going to help him in the trailer or in the other things in the riding that he may get scared of or he might freak out to. So again here, I can feel that he's used to, he's gotten used to a flag to a certain level. So the flag has been kept at a level that he's comfortable with, which of course just gets him used to being in a level that is comfortable for him, which makes it worse when he is put into a situation where the level is not comfortable for him. He gets to like the comfortable situation <coughs> and then when he has a question asked that is a little bit outside that comfort zone, you get a really big reaction. So we have to make sure that he's present and knowing what to do when things get a little bit uncomfortable. So I would rather hear that he does move around and, and I can continue to say, yeah, they're not the right answers, but I like it that you're trying to find the right answer. <clears throat> so here, I don't try to control him on the road. I just try to get him to find a position of control. So he's running backwards, sideways, wondering where he should put himself. The moment he starts to think about control, body awareness, where to, how do I get control of this situation? I stand on my four legs. <coughs> and he finds the position of control. There it is again. Again, I quit on him. So it's important to not make the exercises on the horse like this long and monotonous. It's not to get used to the situation and get into a, uh, uh, a space of being comfortable with the exercise, <clears throat> but it's about him learning really how to give positive answers in which he is empowered by because he feels in a moment where there's a difficult question, oh, I have the answer. And not that he resorts to freaking out because he knows he doesn't have the answer. Good. 
So there I also change it up a little bit that he was going a little bit into freeze mode and what I want to make sure is that if your horse is going a little bit into freeze mode what happens then you get a build up of tension in the freeze mode and then the horse takes one step and that build up of tension comes out in, in an explosion so I want to make sure when he's in the moment or pressure of noise that while moving he's in control of his movement so he's still following my rein aid he's still following the direction of my leg aid then there is a noise and he feels through his body that he's still in control good boy <coughs> so here again I don't, didn't ask to move so we get the standing still so from our first piece of work telling him to find control through following the leg aid and not running away from the leg aid then we can start to move him good and then the noise starts then we get some tension there the movement gets slower more controlled then we will reward him again so again, we have a little bit balancing difficulties through his right hind. So he at some point maybe also will need some help there because he's not got great function in the right knee behind. But it's also then that he can learn in the moment of finding things difficult, he can also think about slowing it down, creating balance, stability, control. That he gives himself confidence through understanding his body and how he can balance himself better. So he takes responsibility over what action he needs to take to make himself confident, not letting his body get him into tension and into being insecure. So also on the free days, next to the normal groundwork and tools and develop them, developing them in hand, we also do a little bit free work. So I like to be able to have the feeling, one, that the horses go free and I get to see how they are traveling without a rider and also sort of a little bit low level liberty work if you like, that they uh, feel also good connected with you, that you can sort of communicate with them, get them to draw towards you and you can control the speed and that they are yeah, having a dialogue interacting with you without anything touching them. So not a full high level, high degree of difficulty in liberty. Uh, for instance, my good friend and sort of brainstorming buddy, Will Rogers, which I can give you the heads up, will probably be the next greatest liberty wizard that we're about to see. So no, no sort of high degree of uh, working a horse free, but uh, just having the feeling that you have a little bit connection and the horse is listening, you can send him forward and the horse can be free. So not that you have the feeling that they're sort of contained and they only get worked when they're online or with a halter or with a bridle, but they can also be have the feeling of freedom and letting go of the looseness in their body from the freed, free work. So I'm here Sunday morning answering a lot of emails and messages on Facebook and on the email list. And a lot of people asking, of course, if I'm going to be in their area and giving a clinic and if it's possible to get um, help with the horse with all sorts of different uh, problems. And so the main advice I've been giving is that, of course, go to trtmethod.com and sign up so you're on the mailing list and that you get our free videos and you're logging on to the daily uh, vlog that we'll, we'll start to give more and more information on certain problems and then Maybe there's situations through the daily vlog and through the free videos from the trtmethod.com that sort of uh, relate to your situation that you can get you know, proper feedback and information.